Welcome to the Rocky Report, brought to you by First Interstate Bank, Montana Honda and Marine, the Montana Tobacco Quit Line at 1-800-QUIT-NOW, Opportunity Bank, and your local Ford stores. And now, from the campus of Rocky Mountain College, here's your host, Bruce Parker. Hi everybody, it's homecoming week at Rocky Mountain College. We have some great highlights. Welcome to the Rocky Report. I'm Bruce Parker. We'll take a look at soccer, football, and volleyball. The number one team in the nation continues to roll. The football team had a tough one against Montana Western in soccer. Wins a big conference match against Westminster College. That and much, much more up next on the Rocky Report. Plonk. It's a unique bar and restaurant in Bozeman. It was a big financial decision to find the right bank for our growing business. We decided on Opportunity Bank of Montana. They have great mobile banking, which is good, because we're always on the go. I already had a home mortgage with them, with great interest rates. We met with Bert, our new banker, our friend, and now we have a second restaurant in Missoula. It was a great opportunity. You live for life's finest moments, like seeing nature firsthand, teaching something old to someone new, experiencing the thrill in their face, and doing it again and again. Join us on the water in the very best boat for these moments. Tracker Boats, built for life. Montana Honda and Marine in Billings. This country wasn't discovered, it was built. One home, one neighborhood, one school at a time. The future? It has to be built too, out of concrete, out of drywall and two by fours. At ProBuild, we believe there's a builder inside us all. We believe it's time we put them to work. Highlights with Dusk and Askham up next. Welcome everyone to Rocky's campus and another edition of the Rocky Sports Report. We'll start things off with the football team. The Batland Bears, after two great wins, are looking for their third in a row. They'll play UM Western, who they beat September 6, 37 to 30. Let's see if they can do it again. So if Rocky wins for the first time in school history, it'd be their third straight winning season. No easy task against the Bulldogs, though. Second quarter, Western already up 7-0. Let's make it 14-0. Sam Rutherford punches it in. Bulldogs up two scores. But Rocky on offense, and they would respond. Bryce Baker to J.C. Van Z. He gets inside the one-yard line, and on the next play, Baker keeps it himself. We got a game, folks, 14-7 at the break. And after a trio of field goals, Western leads 20-10 in the fourth. Baker to Cole Catalan, the central grad. We've seen plenty of him this year. 42-yard gain deep into Bulldog territory. That sets up Baker right here looking at end zone for Kale Vukonich. Rocky gets within three with that score, 20-17. to They get the ball back with just over two minutes to play. But on fourth and 18, Baker looks deep for Andre McCullough. His favorite target sails out of bounds. That seals the win for the Bulldogs. Rocky drops to five and four. Some soccer Friday afternoon on Rocky's campus just down the road. First half, a little trickery on the free kick here. Jack Clancy kicks it on goal, but Westminster's Sean Line saves it. 0-0 still. Rocky's calling Gregory here with the cross kick. Westminster's goalkeeper knocks it away, but Eddie Cass, a shot just over the net. So we go to the second half, 0-0. Westminster trying to clear it, but Ronaldo Goncalves. Goal! He runs over to the student section. A great crowd on hand Friday afternoon. He does a, a little dance here. Rocky wins 1-0. to zero. From the soccer field to some soccer fans at the volleyball team. The number one team in the country hosting MSU Northern. We'll get things started with Brianna Geck. Bang right there. Number 19 with the big kill. Now Anna DeWald getting in on the action. Nice kill right there. No lights to be found in the middle of the floor. This time, Tori Birch, she has some ups, gets a kill there, and Rocky is winning this one up a couple sets to zero. Here we go. In the next set, DeWald with a little dink here. She hits it where they aren't. And this time, MSU Northern trying to spike back, but Yan Yan says, no thanks. Rocky sweeps this one. They haven't dropped a set in conference play and remain undefeated 
against Frontier teams. So as of late Saturday afternoon, the volleyball team, 20 straight wins. And get this, they haven't even dropped a set since September 6th. So what an incredible streak the number one team in the country has had this year. Thanks so much for watching the Rocky Sports Report. I'm Dustin Askin. And thanks to Duskin Askham from uh, KULR-TV for those great highlights and that report to get us started. We're joined now by head football coach Brian Armstrong. A little disappointed, Brian Armstrong, after losing a 20-17 tough loss to Montana Western during homecoming 2014. And Brian, it was a game where you had some chances and you just couldn't get it done. Yeah, we had some opportunities. Uh, you know, I wish early in the game now I would have kicked field goals. We had a fourth and one, and I really thought we had it. But when they brought it out and spotted the ball and measured it, we were just a little bit short and uh, had another chance down in there. Uh, went for it again on fourth and must have been about three or four, I think. And uh, ball was a little bit high and got through the receiver's hands. And But we definitely had our opportunities in the first half and even at the end of the game and just couldn't find a way to win. Kudos to, to Western. They played a heck of a football game, I thought, and uh, and did an excellent job. And uh, Frontier Conference is just <laughs> it's tough, tough league. Yeah, Montana Western, I think, went 4-4 four and four in league, and and uh, they've had some chances to even be better than that. And I thought they were – I was impressed with their defense. They got after it pretty well defensively. And they're, they're a veteran group defensively. Um, a front seven has played a lot of football for the most part. There are a lot of juniors and a couple seniors in there, but they've – They've played a lot, and uh, they do it. They do a good job. Uh, Offensive too. The running back, the Rutherford kid, uh, is a big kid and can really run. And you know, made us look a little bit silly at times yesterday. And your football team, uh, you know, had as we talked about, had some chances. But uh, it's not like you you didn't play well. I mean, you had some chances to do it. But I thought defensively you got after it, and offensively uh, Bryce Baker threw the ball pretty well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just, you know, leaves you scratching your head a little bit. I thought our kids played hard. I'm proud of our kids' effort, and I really thought they fought. We just, for whatever reason, couldn't find a way to get it done yesterday afternoon. Now, how about early? Early in the game, it's, especially at home, it seems like you get down, and then you come back, and, you, and you're all, it seems like you're always on the, the comeback trail, so to speak. Yeah, I, that's kind of one of the reasons I went for it on fourth down <laughs> early is I wanted to – you know, send a message, wanted to get it started early, and I was confident our, our guys would uh, execute and just, yeah, for whatever reason, I don't know. That's uh, It's kind of been the, uh, you know, been consistently what's happened, and we've got one more home game here at the end of the season, and hopefully we can get that figured out better then. We've got a couple road trips to – got a long bus ride this week to think about it and try to figure it out. So yeah, We'll come back and talk about that, that trip to Southern Oregon. That's always an experience. That's a, a video uh, – paradise you have to have a whole bunch of videos to make yeah, that 24 yeah. hour trip but yeah. uh, getting back to this game here a little bit too um, being down 14 to nothing you had to be proud of your team that you did come back and have some chances to win well again I think you know I am proud of our kids and you know I thought they fought uh, played hard I don't know that we played real well at times but we played hard in the second half you know, I thought Western did a really good job of coming out and really hitting us in the mouth and got us on our heels a little bit defensively, but settled in and, and held them to a field goal. And uh, you know, we we played 60 minutes. We just didn't play well enough to get a win against a pretty good football team in the Frontier Conference. Well, you'll get another good football team this week. A long road trip to Southern Oregon. We're going to take a break, and we'll come back with Coach Armstrong and talk about Southern Oregon. Stay with us. It's hard to be in college and not be focused. Being an athlete even helps you become more and more focused. If I don't stay focused, I fall way behind on schoolwork. A lot of homework on the bus and in hotel room. This is one of the most formational times in your life, and so it's important to make healthy choices. Because people who are tobacco free just do better in school. I don't use tobacco. I feel like your body is your temple. I don't think I'd be the person I am today if I had used tobacco products. I'm focused on a tobacco free generation. Upgrade. It means your day just got better. That's the idea behind First Rewards World MasterCard from First Interstate Bank. With every purchase, you earn points you can use to upgrade just about any aspect of your life. Even better, rewards come from your world, your neighbors, your favorite local businesses. It's the difference between dining out and dining out in style. Your style. First Rewards World MasterCard from First Interstate Bank. Your style, your rewards. You live for life's finest moments, like seeing nature firsthand, teaching something old to someone new, experiencing the thrill in their face, 
and doing it again and again. Join us on the water in the very best boat for these moments. Tracker Boats, built for life. Montana Honda and Marine in Billings. Now we're back on the Rocky Report and uh, there's no way to sugarcoat it, a 24 hour bus trip each way to Southern Oregon. And Brian, I know you hear that and you go, oof, you know, maybe cringe a little bit, but uh, it's just a tough trip to go all the way to Southern Oregon and, and you break it up pretty nicely. Yeah, we'll leave uh, Wednesday night about 11 and uh, try to sleep on the bus. We'll get into the Tri-Cities area, you know, 10, 10.30 uh, Thursday morning and get them off the bus and practice them and run them around and let them shower and go feed them and then go as far as Portland and we'll stay in Portland Thursday night. Uh, let them sleep in a little bit Friday morning, get them up, and then we go as far as Eugene and practice at Autzen Stadium, uh, which they enjoy Friday. Friday afternoon, and then uh, it's about three hours into Ashland from, from Eugene, so we'll get in about 6, 6.30, something like that. Can you ra uh, rate this trip on how many videos it takes to, to make a 24-hour trip? I'll tell you what, last year was 24 <laughs> hours, but at the Dolls, is that how you pronounce it, the Dolls? The Dolls. The Dolls. We, we sat on literally on the side of the interstate for two hours. Uh, there was a shooting on the interstate, and so we sat there. So it was about... 26 hour bus trip <laughs> one way last year so it's always an adventure tell me about southern oregon a team that scored 66 points on the road last week ranked in the top five in the country probably this week uh they're a good football team they're a very good football team offensively very explosive uh you know it all starts with their quarterback but they've got a lot of skill guys to go with him and uh you know, they're, they're kind of, uh, in, in basketball terms, they're a, a three-point team, if that makes sense. They're going to shoot three-pointers until they get hot, and when they get hot, watch out. And so, uh, very good uh, very good football team, and, uh, and obviously we've got our work cut out for us. Well, take a big pillow and a nice blanket and a whole bunch of videos, and you'll make it. But good luck on this road trip. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Head football coach Brian Armstrong, the Batland Bears will be in Ashland, Oregon on Saturday for a tough one against Southern Oregon University. We're going to take a break and come back with more on the Rocky Report. Stay with us. This country wasn't discovered. It was built. One home, one neighborhood, one school at a time. The future, it has to be built too, out of concrete, out of drywall and two by fours. At ProBuild, we believe there's a builder inside us all. We believe it's time we put them to work. Plunk, it's a unique bar and restaurant in Bozeman. It was a big financial decision to find the right bank for our growing business. We decided on Opportunity Bank of Montana. They have great mobile banking, which is good, because we're always on the go. I already had a home mortgage with them with great interest rates. We met with Bert, our new banker, our friend, and now we have a second restaurant in Missoula. It was a great opportunity. You live for life's finest moments like seeing nature firsthand, teaching something old to someone new, experiencing the thrill in their face, and doing it again and again. Join us on the water in the very best boat for these moments. Tracker Boats, built for life. Montana Honda and Marine in Billings. And we're back, joined now by Lori Kelly, the head volleyball coach of Rocky Mountain College. And Lori's squad, 21 wins in a row as they ended their regular season home schedule with a big victory on Saturday night against the University of Great Falls. It was a great weekend, and that was one of the most entertaining matches I think I've seen all season. Oh, you know, as a coach, it was, it was a good match. I, I enjoyed coaching it, and the players really enjoyed playing in it. They After the game, they were like, that was awesome. That was so much fun. I mean, when you have 123 digs and on our team, that's 30 digs a game, a set. And, and same with them, they had 117. Um, I don't think any ball was, I mean, you didn't get any freebies. 
both teams made you earn every point, and that's that's fun volleyball. It just didn't seem like, um, as a head coach, let me ask you this. Do you like all the easy ones, or do you like having some matches, especially as you get towards tournament time, where you really have to dig deep? No pun intended. I, I know, but, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, I think it's a gut check, and I think that... Um, you know, we had to strategize, and, and so did they. they. They ran their backside on us, and they know we single block over there. And, um, you know, I thought Aaliyah and Mariah Stiffarm, Aaliyah Billis and Mariah did a good job out there. But they're alone out there, and we're just hoping that we can dig that ball up. Um, I thought they did a good job scouting us and um, trying to find some of our weaknesses as we did them. And I think both teams just played. I, I think Arunas, the coach from Great Falls, is happy the way they played us. Mm -hmm. They're the only ones that took a set from us. And, I mean, it was 28-26. Could have gone either way. I don't know. It, it did, certainly didn't hurt us to lose a set. Uh, we came back with a punch in that, ne that third game. Um, we were ahead by 15, 20 points, and we got some subbing done, and, and they caught up a little bit. But, you know, the scores weren't that close after just that one game. It's pretty tight. Laura, you have eight wonderful seniors on this team uh, I, I read their bios last night at senior night and I was impressed and amazed you know they're all going to graduate this spring they're all outstanding players uh, what kind of emotions did you guys have to deal with last night um, we didn't um, we really talked about it and said you know we have a month left of this season um, I know this is your last home game and it's really special and you know like Anna's been in this gym for five years everybody else for but, um, I mean, put those emotions aside because we have a game to play. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like that. I, I'm, I'm not really emotional because I can't be um, because you'd fall in love with every one of these kids. Mm -hmm. And so, I, you know, they have to put in perspective why they're here and, and how much season they have left. Young, another big night, Saturday night. Uh, you, we should go back a little bit farther. You also beat MSU Northern this, this past week. But Young gets 20 kills. And, uh, you know, you just had a great team effort to get that win over Great Falls. We did. You know, in the second game, the game we lost, um, I had to talk to Tori. Tori's a great setter, but we set the outside way too much. Um, it was 40 to, like, 10 from outside sets to middle. And, and sometimes, you know, our strategy works for a little bit of going to the outside, but we never got our middles back involved. And you have to get Young involved, and you have to get Anna DeWalt involved. Um, I don't think we set our backside enough on, on the weekend, but when you have players like we have, I mean, you can go anywhere, and I thought they played. I'm just so amazed on our defense. Um, I, I have to, there, sometimes I think, wow, well, how did you get that up? You know, it's amazing. All right, this week, on the road, uh, LC and uh, Montana Tech, so two tough matches on two teams that are playing well. They are. They're playing really well, and, and we're going to have to be on top of our game, and, you know, it's going to take a real good team to beat us. But it can happen, and, and we know that, and we know after uh, UGF won the one set, uh, you know how they celebrated? Yeah, like they'd uh, won the world title. They, like they, <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm like, well, that's what it is. You're number one, and when people can even take a set from you, that's a victory for them, and they're getting somewhere in their program. So, you know, take it as it is, but, you know, when people celebrate a lot after they beat you, that's cool. Hey, have fun on the bus. Sorry I can't make it, but I'll be I watching. I bet. Thank you. All right, Head Coach Lori Kelly, stay with us more on the Rocky Report after this. Our Student Athletes of the Week are the eight senior members of the Batman Bears volleyball team who led their squad to a pair of Frontier Conference wins this past weekend. It pushed Rocky's consecutive win streak to 21 wins in a row and helped Lori Kelly's squad to an 11-0 Frontier Conference mark. The seniors include Anna DeWald, Jennifer Donaldson, Brianna Geck, Sky Goble, Jade Hare, Ellie Hellerud, Casey Stone, and Young Young. This group of Batman Bears leads the nation in rankings and a 22 and 2 record. And for this week's play of the week, we travel to the soccer pitch where the Bears tangled with Frontier Conference foe Westminster College. In a match that was nil-nil at the half, the Batlin Bears used this second-half goal by Ronaldo Gonzalves to pick up the important victory, a 1-0 win over the Griffins.
sports fans, it's game time at the Built Ford Tough Sales Event. And when it comes to trucks, stats don't lie. F-150 with EcoBoost has smash mouth power with efficiency. And with best-in-class payload, boom, F-150 hauls in the Hail Mary. And here's a stat, pal. F-Series has been America's truck for 37 straight years. And that's a dynasty, baby. Now, during the Built Ford Tough Sales Event, get up to 10986 total value on F-150. Only at your local Ford store. As a student, as an athlete, it is so important to stay focused. When I'm not on the field, I'm in the classroom. When I'm not in the classroom, I'm in the books. So you have to focus and prioritize what's important. The choices I make on a day-to-day -day basis are huge. Not using tobacco, it all benefits who I am and who I am as a basketball player. When you step on the mat, it's only you and another person, and making healthy choices is the first step. Without making those healthy choices, I can be held back in my performance and I can hurt my team. It's very important how the community sees you. I'm focused on a tobacco-free generation. You live for life's finest moments, like seeing nature firsthand, teaching something old to someone new, experiencing the thrill in their face, and doing it again and again. Join us on the water in the very best boat for these moments. Tracker Boats, built for life. Montana Honda and Marine in Billings. Well, as the season progresses, it's close to tournament time and the, the tournament for soccer, both men and women, will be right here in Billings at uh, Wendy's Field and also out at the College of Technology Field. Joined now by head soccer coach Richard Duffy, who, as we get close, uh, coach, to conference tournament, uh, NEI unaffiliated tournament, it really becomes serious and uh, you need to have the team playing at its best. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, the, that's, our, that's our route to the national tournament is, is winning our conference tournament here on our own field. So. Uh, I think both teams are they are playing well at the right times. I think we had some bumps at the beginning of the season, but uh, things are starting to click uh, and we're doing well. Let's talk men first. Uh, it seems like that they have really picked it up. Uh, you've had some big wins as of late and the team seems to be gelling a little bit right now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, last weekend uh, went up to Helena and uh, beat Carroll 4-1. Uh, a variety of players that scored, which is always good when you can, can mm -hmm. spread spread around a little bit and then uh, on Friday there we had Westminster come in and uh, we beat them 1-0 to zero. Uh, and in my opinion it's probably one of the better games we played all year I think we dominated possession throughout uh, last 10 minutes kind of got a little tired and kind of almost threw it away but uh, happy with the performance all around I think. And, and those are conference wins and as you get towards this tournament Carroll will be there Westminster and Great Falls along with Jamestown and presentation so you've had pretty good success against all those teams. Yeah, we've beat, uh, obviously split with Jamestown this year. Uh, uh, beat Carroll twice, which I guess we will play in the tournament. And then uh, getting our chance at Great Falls this weekend. So that's a, that's a huge game for us. I, I told the players before Westminster, look, if we can win this, uh, it keeps us alive for the regular season conference title. So hopefully we can go up and uh, beat Great Falls on their field and then uh, have a chance at winning the, the conference on Sunday. And the modified RPI, which is the rating that kind of gets you into the tournament and, and, and seeds the teams, Good news for, for the Batland Bears as you come out number two in the women's. Yep, I think that shows the, the strength of schedule we've had this year. It's kind of based on uh, your winning percentage, your opponent's winning percentage. Uh, so I think uh, playing the playing the number one team, playing the number 10, number 15 early in the season uh, helped us with the seeding there. So it looks like we'll get to, the women will get to rest up on the on the Thursday and turn around and play the winner of uh, uh, Carroll presentation the next day. So you get Carroll a couple times for the men and the women, which is nice, but you have no more home games till the tournament. So you're going to be on the road uh, with some long road trips this week, Great Falls on Friday and then Westminster on Saturday or Sunday, and that's a tough road trip. It is. And that's the first time I think we've done the road trip that way. Normally we'll just go straight to Salt Lake, but uh, this year we'll go up to Great Falls, and uh, Great Falls are playing very well on both sides. Their women's program, I think, uh, uh, first win season in a long time. Uh, so they're doing, they're doing great, and then obviously the men are – uh, just outside the top 25 and beat us on our own field. I think we've uh, won six out of the last seven games, but uh, one of those losses was two great falls. Now, what changes for you? Do you change practices? You know, your conditioning's probably pretty good right now. As you get closer to the end of the season, it's been a long season, but do you cut down on what you do in, in, in preparation for these games? Yeah, definitely. I think now at this point in the season, it's about them just playing a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. They know how we want to play. They know kind of tact tactically, technically, what we're looking for. Uh, keeping them healthy, keeping them excited about it. Obviously, they're, they're two months into school now as far as the academic side goes, so it's, it's getting them from class down to practice and make sure they're motivated and excited about it. And you still have a chance to win the women's regular season frontier title, so that's important. 
Yep, exactly. The I know Westminster plays Carl today, so we'll hopefully wait to see the result of that one. And hopefully next weekend we're still playing for it. So. All right, life in the bus. You looking forward to that this week? <laughs> yeah, yeah, big long road trip. But we'll split it up a little bit with the, the Great Falls drive part of the way down and do the rest of it. Well, that's good. Well, good luck on this road trip. Come back with a couple of wins. We'll talk about it next week. Sounds great. Appreciate it. All right, head soccer coach Richard Duffy. They have some big ones. Great Falls on Friday and Westminster on Sunday. We're going to take a break and look at the conference standings in the Frontier and be back with more on the Rocky Report right after this. Plonk. It's a unique bar and restaurant in Bozeman. It was a big financial decision to find the right bank for our growing business. We decided on Opportunity Bank of Montana. They have great mobile banking, which is good, because we're always on the go. I already had a home mortgage with them, with great interest rates. We met with Bert, our new banker, our friend, and now we have a second restaurant in Missoula. It was a great opportunity. As a student, as an athlete, it is so important to stay focused. When I'm not on the field, I'm in the classroom. When I'm not in the classroom, I'm in the books. So you have to focus and prioritize what's important. The choices I make on a day-to-day -day basis are huge. Not using tobacco, it all benefits who I am and who I am as a basketball player. When you step on the mat, it's only you and another person, and making healthy choices is the first step. Without making those healthy choices, I can be held back in my performance and I can hurt my team. It's very important how the community sees you. I'm focused on a tobacco-free generation. This country wasn't discovered, it was built. One home, one neighborhood, one school at a time. The future, it has to be built too, out of concrete, out of drywall and two by fours. At ProBuild, we believe there's a builder inside us all. We believe it's time we put them to work. Well, thanks to our coaches for joining us this week. Richard Duffy with soccer, Lori Kelly with volleyball, and Brian Armstrong with football. Football on the road at Southern Oregon on Saturday against a very good Southern Oregon football team. The volleyball team on the road, Lewis Clark State on Thursday, Saturday at Montana Tech, a tough road trip. And the soccer teams in Great Falls and in Salt Lake City to play Westminster College. So a lot of action. And don't forget, the Batman Bear women's basketball team will be the home debut for head coach Wes Keller and his squad on Friday night. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bruce Parker. We'll see you next week right here at the Fortin Education Center for more on the Rocky Report. We'll see you then.